Working with Janelle in this movie was magical. Okay, Janelle is a uh, icon living. Um, you know, she she's a leader in her own right. Um, you know, and just an, a very independent thinker, um, and, and as an advocate for all things uh, equality and justice. Um, so just to be uh, just to be you know working alongside a, di a dynamic force like that was just magical, um, and I'm very very excited to. For the rest of the world to see what she's capable of doing um, as this this is her first like lead role where she carries a film and i mean she carries this thing like she's the veteran that she always has been um mm. so i'm i'm very excited to to see her uh you know her range to be exposed to the rest of the world and you know you can't pigeonhole a visionary like janelle so exciting times mm. Yeah, I, and I'll, I will speak to, uh, you know, uh, uh, their artistic approach, man. They are they are amazing visionaries. Um, you know, I like to call them prophets because, you know, they're constantly on the pulse, you know, and just kind of like, you know, ahead of the curve when it comes to uh, the social dynamics in, 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 in America. Um, but they have this unique way of, of telling a story with just color and and imagery you know and then they compile that with just the music that they are able to intermix with what they're doing so they're one of the few people that you know seeing some of the work that they did previously where i was moved just by the visuals you know i, I was more intentionally looking at the moving picture than i was to the uh, the spoken word or the music that was playing and i think that's testament to the ability as a filmmaker to do something or to make something that takes you away just by seeing it, you know, and then it's amplified by uh, the sound that they then incorporate into their work. So, um, and also there's something to be said about the unknown, you know, first time directors, um, you know, they are risk takers, they're constantly pushing the boundary. And I think this, this film is one such where you know, I think their their mantra throughout was like, look, we're going to have to do this and if we're going to do it. We have to do it right. So, you know, there was no holding back in anything that they wanted to see on screen. You know, so it was either go big or go home and then mm -hmm. all out. You know, it's funny that, you know, we keep talking about the significance of it when, you know, it's been significant for. 400 years <laughs> you know the, the the themes uh you know and i'll tell you this like you know as a zimbabwean growing up uh you know with some of the history that we learned you know we we always knew that there was there was something going on in america between the blacks and the whites you know the stories and the films that we watched back then you know uh how black people were constantly depicted as some type of stereotype and all these kind of things so it's nothing new. It's nothing new. And I think maybe we should start changing the narrative of the ongoing, you know, that maybe if we start changing and, and start speaking about, you know, the changes that need to take place right now, because, you know, there's something to be said, there's power in what we say, you know, so if it's ongoing, it can be ongoing for the next 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, you know, change is imminent, change needs to happen now. Uh, because with the themes and what's happening now, you, you know, you cannot, you cannot acknowledge the truth that's in front of your face. You know, if you choose to ignore it, you know, you're ignorant. And, you know, if you choose not to do something about the, 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 the truth that's in front of you, you know, you choose to be arrogant, you know, so what are you going to do? Because ultimately there's a problem and we need to fix it because... Mm. These films are our way of expressing our hurt and pain that we've so often faced, you know, and this, the film and, and art is one way of expressing that from, from the music that we used to, you know, that rap and how that was born out of a need to express their frustration because, you know, I guess the, the systems in place wouldn't allow for African-Americans to make the changes that were needed to better 
you know, the communities that we live in, you know, and art is one way to formally express to the rest of the world and to the rest of America that, hey, things are not right. So these themes are very important and will continue to be important until these fundamentals are addressed.